May the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by negative thoughts, struggling to break free from their grip? Let's explore how Colossians 3, 5-10 empowers us to take full control of our thoughts and live a life that honors God. In today's fast-paced world, our minds are constantly bombarded with thoughts that can lead us astray. Colossians 3, 5-10 offers us a roadmap for renewing our minds and taking control of our thoughts. This reflection will delve into how we can apply these verses to our daily lives, transforming our thinking and aligning it with God's will. Let us now listen to the Word of God. I am reading from Colossians 3, 5 to 10. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways, in the life you once lived. But now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. This is the word of God. In Colossians 3, 5 to 10, Paul urges us to put to death our earthly nature and its sinful practices. This strong language emphasizes the seriousness with which we should approach the transformation of our minds. The passage lists various sins, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed that stem from our earthly nature and can dominate our thoughts if left unchecked. Paul warns that these behaviors provoke God's wrath and must be eradicated from our lives. As believers, we once walked in these ways, but now we are called to a higher standard. The transformation begins with a conscious decision to rid ourselves of negative emotions and harmful behaviors such as anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language. By doing so, we demonstrate our commitment to living a life that reflects our new identity in Christ. The passage also addresses the importance of honesty in our relationships, urging us to refrain from lying to one another. Honesty builds trust and fosters a community that reflects the image of our Creator. Paul reminds us that we have taken off our old self and its practices and have put on the new self, which is continually being renewed in knowledge and likeness to God. To take full control of our thoughts, we must actively renew our minds through prayer, meditation on God's Word, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. This renewal process helps us align our thoughts with God's truth and equips us to resist the temptations of our earthly nature. By doing so, we can live a life that honors God and reflects His love and righteousness to the world. What does it mean to put to death our earthly nature? It means to consciously eliminate sinful behaviors and thoughts from our lives. Why does Paul list specific sins in this passage? To highlight the behaviors that stem from our earthly nature and the need to eradicate them. How can we rid ourselves of anger, rage, and malice? through prayer, seeking God's help, and practicing forgiveness and self-control. What is the significance of honesty in our relationships? Honesty builds trust and reflects the image of God in our interactions with others. How do we renew our minds according to this passage? By actively engaging with God's Word, praying, and allowing the Holy Spirit to transform our thoughts. Reflect on areas in your life where you may still be holding on to sinful thoughts or behaviors. Ask God for the strength and wisdom to put these to death and to renew your mind daily. Consider ways to practice honesty and integrity in your relationships 
fostering a community that honors God. Commit to a daily routine of prayer and Bible study to renew your mind and align your thoughts with God's truth. Share this reflection with your family or friends and discuss how you can support each other in taking control of your thoughts. Taking full control of our thoughts is an ongoing process that requires dedication and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. By putting to death our earthly nature and renewing our minds, we can live a life that honors God and reflects His love to the world. Let's commit to this journey together, supporting one another in our walk with Christ. Pray for the strength to put to death sinful thoughts and behaviors. Ask for the Holy Spirit's guidance in renewing your mind daily. Pray for honesty and integrity in your relationships. Ask God to help you resist temptations and align your thoughts with this truth.
pray for your family and friends to also experience the transformation of their minds. Remember that God is always with you, guiding your actions even when you don't feel his presence. Take a moment to reflect on what concerns you this week or what you long for God to do in your life. Whether it's a pressing need, a burden weighing on your heart, a dream you're pursuing, or simply a desire for his presence and guidance, it is time to bring your individual prayers to him in prayer. You know that our God is not distant or unaware of our struggles. He is a loving Father who invites us to cast all our cares upon Him. So, let's approach His throne of grace with confidence, knowing that He is ready to listen, comfort, and act on our behalf. Pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the guidance and wisdom found in your word. Help us to take full control of our thoughts, putting to death our earthly nature and renewing our minds daily. Grant us the strength to live a life that honors you and reflects your love to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore.